When you watch a spy movie, you may roll your eyes when another random gadget turns out to be a powerful laser. What next? A rocket launcher boombox for when the person with the aux cord puts Friday by Rebecca Black on repeat? Uh, oh, but not all of them are ridiculous cliches. Truth is, reality really is stranger than fiction. From very dangerous weaponized umbrellas to exploding bats, let's explore some of the most incredible and unbelievable tools and methods used by spies in order to complete their missions. Number 10. Animal Instincts When most of us think of spies, we picture sharply dressed, pistol-holding smooth talkers. We don't picture pigeons. But as it turns out, perhaps we should. As far back as the decadent times of ancient Rome, pigeons have been used to pass secret messages between important people. These common birds with an incredible innate homing ability directing them to places over thousands of miles away have continued to be some of our best undercover agents ever since. During the First World War, pigeons were strapped with small, rudimentary cameras and sent into enemy airspace. After a controlled time delay, the camera would snap pictures of enemy bases from above, providing an invaluable military advantage. British intelligence services at the time even considered strapping explosives or biological weapons onto them so they could be detonated on target locations. But pigeons aren't the only species that people have used to spy on each other. There have been countless instances of humans using animals' innate abilities and senses to our advantage. The next agent of animal subterfuge is the common house cat. Known officially as Acoustic Kitty, a CIA operation during the Cold War involved implanting a radio transmitter, a microphone, and an antenna inside the body of a cat. The cat, still alive, was sent into the vicinity of two Soviet suspects, with the intention that it would record their conversation. Sadly, the cat was allegedly hit and killed by a car soon after being released. The ethics of the case have been a matter of concern in recent years, but the difficulty of making a cat obedient enough to carry around the work of spies has cemented this case as one of the most bizarre failures of its kind. Number 9. Secret Tools for Survival being captured as a spy can leave you in dangerous circumstances, which is why some ingenious devices and methods have been used in the past to help spies survive tough situations. But the solutions weren't always pleasant. Case in point, the CIA's Cold War Concealed Survival Kit. This kit was designed to be thoroughly hidden in case of searches. Can you guess where? A worryingly large pellet was kept inside the user until they were able to pass it safely at which point they would presumably clean it off a little before cracking it open and retrieving the tools and weapons inside. Number 8. Fun and Games Being a prisoner of war in Nazi Germany was about as far from a fun experience as possible. But, as part of the strange logic of the Nazi leadership, prisoners of war were allowed to receive games and pastimes from humanitarian groups like the Red Cross. Seizing on this opportunity, Allied forces began shipping modified versions of Monopoly to POWs. Shallow indentations were cut into the board to hide tools and maps. Some of the playing pieces could also be repurposed as tools. Sometimes there was even real money hidden amongst the Monopoly money. Number 7. All Mapped Out Monopoly boards weren't the only places where vital escape tools were hidden for spies in the 20th century. Prisoners of war often received innocuous-looking decks of cards that, when wet, could be peeled apart to reveal a map of the local area. This would have been incredibly useful for any escape attempts, as many prisoners found themselves in totally unfamiliar territory. For those looking to keep as low a profile as possible, a unique spin on a classic idea became available during World War II. Silk Maps No, these aren't meant to be worn as a nice soft scarf, though I'm sure they'd serve that purpose fine too. These maps were crafted out of soft fabric for several reasons. They wouldn't deteriorate in the rain like their paper counterparts, nor would they tear easily, and most importantly, they did not rustle. An easily neglected but hugely important factor in remaining undetected. Number 6. Spy Tech Spy technology has come an incredibly long way in the past 100 years, evolving from the very basic, low-quality microphones and cameras into the drones, phones, and the always-listening Google Homes we see today. Modern technology can achieve incredible feats, like the cleverly inconspicuous cellular interception rucksack, which looks like a normal backpack, but has the incredible technological ability to intercept up to 30 phone calls at the same time. But even as early as the mid-20th century, we were achieving some phenomenal progress in the world of espionage. The Microdot camera was a brilliant example of secretive genius. The tiny camera, perfected in the 1960s, could photograph sensitive documents and reduce the image to the size of a pinprick. These could later be viewed using a microscope. This meant that confidential images could be easily snuck away due to their minuscule size. Number 5. Hideaway 
Sometimes, as a spy, you pull the short straw and end up on hideout duty. This isn't usually the cop drama sitting in a car with coffee and donuts waiting for the perp to arrive type of situation. A CIA espionage guidebook, the official CIA manual of trickery and deception, advises on a clever but rather claustrophobic method of concealing a spy in a vehicle for surveillance of the vehicle's owner. This involves modifying the fuel tank so that one half is empty, allowing the unlucky spy to reserve themselves in a very cozy spot in the vehicle that's accessed through a hidden compartment in the boot. 007 doesn't know how lucky he is, but spying often involves concealment of a different kind. Throughout history, intelligence gatherers have fallen over each other trying to ensure the safe transport of secret messages and items. Even as far back as the regal courts of Queen Elizabeth I in England, her trusted spy master was able to intercept coded messages transported in beer barrels. Due to his findings and decoding abilities, Sir Francis Walsingham was able to thwart a major assassination plot against his queen. Number 4. Making Invisible Visible Secret messages don't always reach their target. Interception is something that most secretive organizations prepare for, and they do it in some pretty clever ways. Invisible ink is one such practice, and you may be surprised to find that this is not a particularly recent invention. Records indicate that invisible ink was being used as far back as the 4th century BC, and one of its famous more recent proponents was none other than George Washington. Washington used a special type of ink that could only be made visible with the use of a secret and specified second chemical. The name of the chemical is still classified to this day. As demonstrated by the craftiness of Francis Walsingham, spies have always been gifted interceptors too. While developments in spying have led us to some pretty uncomfortable places, like the nosy NSA, they have also given us some very unique inventions, like this envelope x-ray spray, which allows you to peek inside the contents of an envelope for a moment before the transparency fades away moments later. So be careful what you're sending in the post. You never know who might have a can of this stuff just waiting to be sprayed. Number 3. Code to Victory of course, one of the smartest ways to keep your message from being read by someone who isn't supposed to is to translate it into secret code. This technique has been dated as far back as ancient Greece and beyond with the use of skittles. In this era, ribbons inscribed with seemingly random alphabetical characters were passed between military leaders. When the ribbons were wrapped around a block of specific size and shape, of which both the sender and the recipient would have safely locked away, the letters would align to spell out critically important messages regarding military plans and information. Things have become infinitely more complex as time has passed, particularly with the development of computers, which can generate encryptions that are near impossible to crack. Similarly, advancements in manufacturing have allowed for the production of sneaky objects like this compact mirror Mirror, another brainchild of the CIA. Useful for powdering your nose, the hidden secret of this looking glass is revealed when tilted at just the right angle. If done correctly, a secret code is revealed. Number 2. Killer Accessories it's no secret that the life of a spy can involve regular brushes with death. Sometimes, in following orders, a spy must carefully and untraceably take out a target, license to kill and all that. Ingenious inventions such as the CIA Stinger, a 22 caliber single bullet firing device concealed within a toothpaste tube, were designed to be able to remain undetected as part of an agent's travel bag. I just hope no one ever tried to squeeze this one onto their toothbrush. That's a dentist bill no one wants to pay. Similar inventions were common in the mid-20th century, like the Sedgley Fist Gun, with probably the coolest weapon name ever. The glove would fire a single round when the wearer curled their hand into a fist, delivering an unexpected and lethal blow to the unfortunate target when punched. But perhaps the most bizarre of all is the Bulgarian Umbrella. A pellet of ricin, a lethal and almost untraceable poison, would sit in the tip of the umbrella, waiting to be injected into a victim with a flick of the switch on the umbrella's handle. In fact, even the US Department of Defense Defense has experimented with hidden weapons inside umbrellas. Charles Sentiny, a former weapons developer for the DoD, testified to the Senate Intelligence Committee that he designed one for them that could fire darts. He spoke out in regards to the killing of JFK, who many believed was killed by this type of device, because of the strange man holding an umbrella near JFK when he was assassinated, despite the fact that it wasn't raining. Though unconfirmed, there's definitely a trend for putting weapons and items as mundane as possible, as these are the last things that a target would perceive as threatening or suspicious, which is what makes them so effective. And number one, boom for improvement. One of the central principles of being a good spy is going unnoticed. History has shown that secret organizations can lack certain subtlety at times, and sometimes spy plots can go explosively wrong. Granted, the use of explosives in secret operations has had some success, like 19th century coal torpedoes utilized during the American Civil War. These were designed to be mistaken for real coal and were thrown onto the furnaces of Union steam transportation vehicles, which would explode, killing crewmen and passengers, and leaving the engines out of action. For the most part, however, spies and explosives don't tend to mix too well. Through the CIA's many attempts to assassinate Fidel Castro, poisoned and explosive cigars
cars were used, but were repeatedly met with failure. Castro was clearly up to date on his cartoons. Not even sweet, delicious chocolate was safe from the busy fingers of spies in the Second World War. In a bizarre turn of events, elaborate designs for an explosive chocolate bar made with real edible chocolate were found by British intelligence, which was discovered to be part of a wider plot to assassinate Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Luckily for Churchill, the plan never came to fruition, but the result would have been more than a toothache. Once the bar had been broken, with a classic satisfying pop, a short fuse would activate after which the chocolate bar's lethal payload would detonate, doing serious damage to anyone in the surrounding area. Unfortunately, our animal friends haven't been too lucky in the field of explosive espionage either. In perhaps the most baffling of all espionage tactics, which was unsurprisingly another one of the CIA's wacky schemes, a program exploring the use of explosive bats was carried out during World War II. Explosive rats had already been attempted in World War I, but to little effect. The attempts to weaponize bats in the Second World War met with similar degrees of failure. According to plans, a large canister would be dropped from a plane over Japanese cities, at which point a parachute would be deployed, and the canister would open, releasing hundreds of bats to settle in the Japanese buildings below. Each bat was equipped with a small incendiary bomb on a timer, and if all went according to plan, the bombs would set fire to the houses, causing widespread destruction. While the plan seemed promising at first, disaster struck in the testing phases, when the bats incinerated an airbase after an error in their deployment. The costly damage contributed to the eventual cancellation of the scheme. They might not have always gone to plan, but it's hard to deny the level of creativity that went into some of these inventions. As we get better and better at spying on each other and carrying out covert operations, I wonder what crazy inventions intelligence agencies will come up with next. I just hope it doesn't involve my hamster. Let me know what your favorite crazy spy devices are in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.